going to try to do this without crying, okay? Because it's been really, really stressful day. Um, last night, they were all free romping and playing at home. And uh, everything was fine when I got up this morning at 6. I went in there, and uh, two of them come bouncing out. And this one here was laying there. It was dead. I mean, it was dead. Uh, it was just limp and just dead. Uh, I picked it up. There was no heartbeat. And so I did a mouth to face, I guess you'd call it mouth mm -hmm. to face respiration or whatever, uh, two or three times, and I couldn't get it to breathe. So I put the, <laughs> I put it in this red, little red plastic cooler thingy. It's like an insulated yeah, little cooler. cooler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, zipped it up because I thought, you know, I thought he was dead. So I'm getting breakfast ground for the other two, and I hear this horrible growling noise. And I thought one of my cats was picking a fight, and I kept hearing it and hearing it. And pretty soon it was coming from that red cooler thing. <laughs> okay, so I opened it up, and he was just laying there growling in a fetal position. So I picked him up again and kind of massaged him a little bit, and um, he just was limp. There was nothing I could do with him. So I called Jackie and I told her and then I checked him again and pretty soon I seen his little heart you know, so he was breathing again and so I wrapped him up in a towel and um, it's really hard for me <laughs> um, wrapped him up in a towel and just laid him in the cooler but I didn't zip it up this time because I figured I would smothered him to death and um, got around there and, and got the other two ready and then I, I brought him in his little cooler and um, he was barely breathing when he just barely breathing when you arrived when I yeah. arrived barely yeah. it, he was just barely breathing well, I was I thought because when you and I talked I thought he was already gone yeah. gone gone he was gone and this is I'm sorry but I'm a religious person and I truly love God and this is a miracle. I gave them a prayer. People think people are crazy for praying for animals, but Not we were us. Praying, for, <laughs> praying for this one this morning. Not and us. We pray for animals. She gave giving him a shot, and uh, slowly, steadily, he's coming around today. Uh, well, hopefully, we won't have to wear a neck brace because we yeah. don't have anything that small. That was probably about seven hours ago when he first came. We just, there was just barely, just the respirations is all in. He so, slowly came around. When he first started coming out of it, though, he was twisting and turning just. Yeah, he had no, no control over his body whatsoever. And um, he just, it was like a wet noodle. He just really had no control. But, oh. <laughs> and as the day has progressed, he's gotten better and better and better and then he started wailing his head off what was that 12 o'clock he wanted food he wasn't he wasn't good yet then but he wanted food and she gave him like 10 syringes but yeah he, so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna leave him here till Sunday and I'll pick him up Sunday and see what's going on and we'll take him back home and start all over again <laughs> start all over again We, I'm sorry. we are big. What was that for? Yes, it is a miracle. Oh, definitely was a miracle. Well, I can't wait till my sister. She's, <laughs> she's in a nursing home right now. She had her knee operated on. She had a full knee, knee replacement, and I can't get a hold of her. So um, I'm going to go over Saturday and stop by her Saturday and let her know what happened because it's just... I'm sorry, it's a miracle. I'm not sorry either. I just, no. God is good. That's all there is to it. Well, when, when we talked on the phone, he was gone. He was. So that's why when you came and I was busy with those folks, I wasn't in a big hurry. Right. 
because I thought I would just finish up with them. And then when when I saw mm -hmm. you said, well, he's still breathing he a little. Breathing it's like, again. what? Yeah, he started breathing again. So I don't know if it yeah. was me putting my nasty smelly mouth on him or, <laughs> or what. But, but, but I think but, it was probably a combination of a little breath and a lot of prayer. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? So that's his story. And, and I know his name will be changed later on, but that is. Um, you call him what? Peter, that's Peter. Peter. Yeah, that's Peter, Paul, and Philip. Peter, Paul, I call them the terrestrial tenors because they all scream at the same time. But well, let's get you back in, okay? So, oh, I'm going to weigh them, all three okay. of them. So, thank you for <laughs> thank you for listening. Yes, he does have a voice now. Yeah. <laughs> all three of them do, trust me. Especially 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> 4 o'clock at night. I want food. You want me to help you or?